You're watching Training Camp with Adam Marburger, exclusively on CBT News. Adam Marburger here. Welcome to Training Camp. It's a beautiful day to help a dealer enhance their F&I operations, and I'm here to do just that. I want to share a technique with you today that's going to help you sell more service contracts. Let me make a statement. Customers want to purchase F&I products. I'm going to say that one more time. Customers want to purchase F&I products. They do not want to be sold F&I products. Some of the best practices of the 90s, they don't quite work today. So I challenge you today to take what I'm about to share with you and put it into practice immediately. I'm going to talk a little bit about pattern interruptions. See, Consumers make decisions based on their previous experience. I'll give you an example. If my great-grandfather told my grandfather, never buy a service contract, and my grandfather told my father, never buy a service contract, and my father told me growing up to never buy a service contract, when I go in and buy a vehicle and I sit in the finance office, what do you think I'm going to say to the finance manager as soon as he tries to present a service contract? Well, the reality is I'm going to raise my hand and be like, nope, I'm good. I don't want any of that because we're product of our parents. We make decisions based on previous experience. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to share a technique. It's called diffusing the bomb and it's designed to interrupt the pattern. So it goes a little something like this. Mr. and Mrs. Customer, I'm about to go over a couple of options with you. And these options are designed to enhance and complement your ownership experience. The last thing I'm going to do is sit here and try to sell you a bunch of stuff you don't need. We don't do that here. And I'm going to go right into it. So what I've done is this. I basically explained to my customer that I'm not going to sit here and try to sell you a bunch of stuff you don't need. But the reality is I am going to present options. See, customers like options. And if there were no finance people or salespeople in a room and we had a menu printed out and we handed that menu in front of the consumer and they looked on their own time, they're going to pick options because customers like to pick options and they want to be protected. They just don't need somebody on the other side of the desk pushing and, and selling based on their agenda and not on the customer's agenda. So I challenge you to do this. Let's get our F&I people trained as we present our menu to have a very laid back approach. Mr. and Mrs. Customer, the last thing I'm going to do to sit here and try to sell you a bunch of stuff you don't need. We don't do that here at XYZ Dealership. We only have a couple of options, and these options are designed to complement and enhance your ownership experience. Here's what I want to tell you. The, the F&I products that we have today are absolutely amazing. Let's just be honest. The products have evolved to where they provide a massive amount of value. And right now in the current market conditions, there's a massive amount of need. It's our job as F&I professionals to fulfill those needs with a servant-leading mind without a sales focus behind it. So one time again, right as I transition into my menu, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, the last thing I'm going to do is sit here and try to sell you a bunch of stuff you don't need. We absolutely don't do that here at XYZ Dealership. We only have a couple of options, and these options are designed to enhance and complement your ownership experience. And if you want to take it up a notch, I use this technique as well. I say here, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, I do this every day, all day. You do this every now and then. This is about you and it's not about me. So please, any questions that arise, interrupt me and ask, please, because it's all about you today. I'm here to serve. I hope you found some value in that. We need to slow down a little bit so we can speed the transaction up. Remember, people want to purchase F&I products. They just don't want to be sold F&I products. And the products that we have today provide so much value in the current economic environment that we're in with inflation at an all-time high, with interest rates where they are, it's critical that we budget for a service contract and the rest of these F&I products that we offer today bring so much value. We should fall madly in love with each product and become wildly passionate about helping people. Remember, we provide solutions to problems and sometimes our customers just don't see that they have a problem. And it's our job to serve them and help them. Again, 
Thanks for spending some time here today with me at the training camp. Hope to see you again real soon. Thanks for watching Training Camp with Adam Marburger, exclusively on CBT News.